What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Liberty Life Lessons. This will be episode number 37. The song I'm gonna be teaching you guys today is the song from the intro, and that's called Sally in the Tire by Marlins Dreaming. This is another requested song, so big shout out to Billy Elwood and Groston for requesting this song. So this may not be the most popular song in the world, but when I got my second request for it, like a couple days ago, I recognized the name and I decided to go back and give it a look. I started messing around with it tonight and I figured out the chords and the little melody licks. So I decided I would put a quick video together. You guys already know I love Marlon's Dreaming, so it was kind of a no brainer. I'm gonna start this lesson by showing you guys the chords for the verse, and then I'm gonna move on and show you guys the chords for the chorus. In addition to the chords, I'm gonna show you guys the melody lick that he plays after each chorus, which is played over the chords from the verse. So it's just gonna be those three parts. It should be a really quick and easy lesson. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the lesson. All right, so let's start by learning the chords for the verse, right? Our main chords are gonna be F major, C major, and B flat major. How we're gonna play it is we're gonna pick the root note and then quickly go to the next chord and pick the root note again. Like that. After the third one, we're gonna go to the B flat major, pluck the root note, and we'll go. So a slow strum down, and then we'll pick the bottom strings, so. Kind of like that, you can have some fun with it. Cool, so let's go ahead and loop that and then we'll come back to that loop and play the melody over it. So, once again. All right, cool, so now we got it looped, we can move on to the chorus. So the chorus is gonna start on this D minor seven All right, and then our next chord is gonna be a A minor seven. And this is where you kind of get in that groove because we're gonna be going really quickly down to the G minor seven, but we're gonna have that G sharp minor seven in between. So it's just a chromatic decline there. But we'll hang out on the G sharp major seven, right? And then we'll do the same thing coming up. To the A minor seven, back to the D minor seven. Coming out of the verse on that B major, we'll go. And we'll hold it for a little bit longer than usual. And that takes us into the D minor seven. After that, we're back into the verse. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the loop that we already made and show you what the melody sounds like over that verse chord progression. All right, so all that is, is uh, if we start on the seventh fret of the G string right here, we'll go seven, five, and then we'll go to the D string, seven, five, eighth fret of the A string there. That's the first time. Second time it'll be, we'll come back up to seven on the D string before hitting that eight. And the last time is gonna be, come back up here to five on the G string. And then we're gonna do this eighth fret bend right here on the B string. A slow bend, about a full step. All right, so all together, Right, and with the loop. So after the first chorus, we're gonna play that melody twice. And then after the second chorus, that melody is gonna write out the song. All right, so that's your song.
All right, so that completes the lesson, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, consider subscribing. I want to thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. And until next time, my name is Charlie with Liberty Law Lessons, and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.